Hey, you mind if we fish down here? Do I mind? Yeah. I don't mind at all. It was the most I've been looking for. I'm Chris Blanchard. You're watching the bite. That little island? Well, I'm I'm saying we can like we can. Go on that rock down there? Well, I'm thinking we could walk this way around here, down to that little yeah. zone there. Yeah. Can I can I um go right here and like? Well, why don't we walk over there? On the rock. On those rocks. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, guys? Today we are doing a sweet little family adventure. We're gonna chase some crawdads. Do you want to watch this, guys? You go down to those rocks and you can jump off. Kinda. This is a fish trap. Tell them, oh. what we're, tell them what we're doing today. So we're gonna walk over there and we're gonna go catch some crawdads. Yeah? Yeah. We got a cage. Let's go get the net. We're gonna catch them with our hands also and the net, right? Yep, let's go get it. You ready? Hey. Ready. Cool bridge. Across the creek. A freshwater lobster? Yeah, right there. Yep. Well, let's go get some cages in. Hey, come on. Lauren, come on. And a uh, garter snake. They're just light colored. Okay, bring him out here onto the road. Have look at him. He's all brown. Oh. He's not gonna hurt you. Don't, why are you touching his body? Though? He's all brown. He's a light colored snake. Find a snake? We found one snake. You want to touch him? Good find. We found his. I'm. I'm. He's on your foot. Yeah, sorry. don't step on him. <laughs> it's really cool. I love snakes. Yeah. Whoa! Let's go. Come back here. Why don't we uh, let him go back let in the bushes? The Bye. All right, so you guys got to be very careful of the algae blooms. They happen every once in a while in the summertime on different rivers. You never know which one they're on. I think there's a list. This probably says it right here. Yeah, Oregon Health Authority. If you go check them out, you can even make a phone call. I'll put the number in the link below, but do not let your dogs or even your kids or anyone should be playing in it. But yeah, we've had a friend who lost a dog right here in this very spot because of an algae bloom. So beware of it. Don't let your dogs anywhere near it stay safe well, get in there and feel it oh is it cold Can I what do you think is it cold yeah what do you think is this a good spot Let's explore this thing. We're gonna go drop this trap. Come on. Do it. Look at that bridge up there. Look at that. Oh, there, froggy. I saw that. We gotta wait till people are out of the way. And careful jumping onto wet rocks because they could be really slippery. Oh, I see a Where? Right there. Right there. Oh yeah, I seen him. Go get him with the net. Okay, I want to go check out this deeper water up here and see if it's a good spot for a crab trap, okay? Oh, or a crawdad. Good spot for a crawdad trap. Yeah, right here. We're not crabbing. Oh, you that rock, can you it's mid-July in Oregon. Beautiful day out here. But July is the perfect month to catch crawdads or in the south they call them crawfish 
some people call them mud bugs but we are gonna make a really bomb um, alfredo out of it tonight for dinner so we're gonna catch like 20 or 30 to take home and we'll clean them we'll cook them we'll eat them you guys will get to see the whole adventure but we're just out here with the fam sage the wife chelsea little Soren's up there we're just out here exploring the amazing oregon weather outdoors it's, it's so nice out you cannot beat it right now don't tell anybody that oregon has good weather it always rains here because we don't want anybody to move here but today is an exception it's beautiful out and we're going to enjoy it all right so right now i'm just kind of looking for a deep pocket Ooh, this looks pretty good so i'm looking for a deep hole to drop the craw the crawdad trap in i almost called it a, i almost called it a crab trap again we're not crabbing we're crawdadding today but this battery is going to die so i'm going to go change it out we're going to need a crawdad trap in this hole right here with bait in it oh, I, I see one right there so we're about to catch a bunch yeah it's warm i bet you can't catch one yeah i can no you can't yeah huh? no you can't see how quick you are Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I bet I can over here. Oh, yeah? A bunch of them. One more chance. $100 bill. $100 bill. You catch a fish in your hand right now. Cool, but it's okay. Oh, I can you just lost. still find one. Last chance. $100 bill. You catch a fish in your hand. Yeah. Relief. All right, so this is your standard crawdad trap right here, at least for around here. I've seen some huge cages that the people have, big boxes and stuff like that, but this one works really well. Um, so it just kind of goes together like a so that goes like that and that clips like that and you put bait in there and then they climb through the hole we're going to open it back up we're going to pull out the rope let's uh let's bait this thing up so this one we're just going to put our uh we're going to put our bounty in this one so that's okay. going to be for the live crawdads going home with us which we only need like 20 or 30. Yeah. we're just going to make some alfredo tonight it's gonna be yeah. super bomb though um, but I bought a bunch of random baits, uh, fish carcasses and stuff like that that we're going to cram in there. This looks like it was a steelhead. We got a steelhead here. So let's see how much crawdads the steelhead can get. I'm going to throw this thing in just like that. Simple. Super simple. And you can use so many different things. I mean, obviously we're going to use a cage. We're going to use our hands. We're going to use a net. Um, it's, it's really, really simple fishing. Um, I mean, we could call it fishing. It's more like catching. But they live underneath rocks. That's where they make their little nests and hide. And uh, we're gonna get them to come out and we're gonna catch them. This black shirt was a mistake. Take this thing off. All right. Let's, uh, let's go throw this trap in. I'll bet you. We get a swarm of crawdad in. Watch this. Let's go. Whoa, look at the bunny. What? Hey, hey, there's a bunny crossing the creek right here. Yeah, shit you not. Let's uh maybe we should try to help him. Yeah, let's go. Go get your net. Okay. Get my shoes for me. Get my net! So I just heard this splash. And I looked and there's a bunny sitting right there, if you can see it in the camera, right in between that big rock. And it looks like it's trying to cross the creek, but it's obviously like on its own little island. So I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can help it. Anyway, let me see that net. No, it's swimming across, but. What is that? What? On the rock, what is that? Oh look, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a mink. What? Or uh, Yeah, it's a mink. I've never seen one before. <laughs> So, oh we got, so we got a rabbit right here and we got a mink back Dave, here. I mean, Sage, look, Sage, look at the mink look across at the, mink the creek. The you see him? Oh, he's swimming. He's swimming across. Don't move. The mink's, the mink's swimming over here. See him? I don't know if you can see him. We'll try to zoom in on him. But the rabbit's still sitting right here. I wonder if that mink was trying to get the rabbit. Yeah. You know, let me know in the comments if you think that the mink is trying to eat the rabbit. And that's what's going on. That's why the rabbit ran over here. But I'm not sure what's going on. I feel like, I feel like it needs some help right there it's like rabbits don't like the water i don't think i think it was trying to get away from that uh mink i think that's what it's called a mink again comment below if i'm wrong because i could be wrong that might not be a mink it might be like 
Uh, what else is a fisher or something like that? I don't know. It looked like a little ferret, a brown one. But anyway, there's a rabbit chilling in the middle of the creek right there. And I feel like it needs a little bit of help, at least some guidance over to this, this side of the river. Come here. There it goes. It's going to make it. Go, Bonnie, go. Go, Bonnie, go. I've never seen a rabbit cross the river. All right, shall we throw this crawdad trap in? Yeah. Let's do it. So we got to bait it up. My, my, my big old head's in the way. We got to bait it up with a steelhead carcass. We got some extra rope on it this time because we're going in a deeper hole. So here, you carry it. Okay. And then I'll make sure the rope comes with us. And then we just need to walk out all the way out to where the bunny was. Good. Yeah, Sage has normal water socks on, but I got these sweet shoes with felt on the bottom. I've been looking for a shoe to walk in the rivers for years that have felt on the bottom, just like our wading boots for the winter. And nobody had them. And I finally found some shoes with felt and I can like run through the river. It's super nice. Like I said, it's a little slippery. He had a bicycle. He had a bicycle crash recently. And so his knee's a little bit sore. Let's show him your knee. How's your knee? Oh, it's even taking the old skin off and yeah. yucky. A little crawdad. No, you know what that is? Dead crawdad. No, that's the shell of a oh. crawdad that what? grew. That's like his shedding. Oh. It's like a snake shed. Oh, that's no. a crawdad shed. Here, let's look at it. It's coming out. So this is a crawdad shed. This crawdad grew and got out of his little shell. When they come out of the old shell, they're not really, uh, vulnerable to predators and stuff like that. So it takes them a while to harden up back into their nice exoskeleton but that's pretty cool it's kind of like a snake shed yeah but not let's get some real ones hey there's one right here we're gonna catch him he's gonna be in our yeah. he'll be in our cage here in a second here i'll hold the rope okay. hold the and you throw it up river up there it's not too bad we'll let it fall down a little bit and we'll go see if that hang on because we, we really wanted to lay flat we might have to put a rock in it. No, that's not too bad. They're gonna crawl up into that right there. So when you throw your cage, put it up. Yeah, oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, he's down there. He's gonna start coming up to our cage right now, I guarantee it. He's already catching the, the whiffs. So when you throw your trap in, you wanna throw it at the top of the zone because all the crawdads from down below are just gonna follow that scent trail all the way up into your trap. There's already one on our trap. Look at it, look at it over there. Look, there's two coming up. Yeah. Look, that one's starting to walk over. Yeah. So we basically have one, two, three. We got a lot of crawdads coming in. How many? Like three. We got our trap in right here. We got crawdads already around it. We're going to tie off our rope okay. and we're going to go catch some with the net and by hand. Hand catching is way funner than trap catching, but I with the trap, you get there. so many. I put them right there. So let's go catch some by hand. Yeah. Let that thing soak. Let's there is so many crawdads walking up into our trap. Sage just found three over here. Look at this. Look here, look at how bright that one is. That's a big one too. That's the one we want right there for dinner. Yeah. Gotcha. Got him. That's a decent one. He's not monstrous, but he's a good one. We'll take him home. He's got some decent claws on him. They are just everywhere. There's, see, there's two right there. There's one right there. Here, try to reach on again. Little ones though. We only want to keep the biggest ones. It's all about the big ones. If we're only taking 20 or 30, then 
We should probably take the biggest ones, right? I also like to release any crawdads that I could just tell is a female with a bunch of eggs and stuff like that. Um, you know, it just kind of keeps this game alive. Catch some more. They are fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crawdads right there. Let's see if we can catch one by our hand. They don't look that big though, so. Ah, dang, he got away. I had him. It's all about using your hands, bro. Using your hands is quicker. You gotta be quicker than them like a ninja. All right, I guarantee you, with the steelhead bait that's in our trap, it, it's gonna be loaded. I can already tell that our trap, sitting right out there, is just covered in red right now. And there's still more heading up that way. But hopefully we get some big ones, because we're gonna release all the small ones. Like I said, we only need like 20 or 30 anyway. And here, let's get a closer look. Let's take the camera down there. Give you guys a sneak peek of how many crawdads we got before we get to see it. Sage, let's pull this thing. It looks like it's got a bunch of crawdads on it, in it, around it. So we might be able to hit the jackpot right now. When I tell you to pull it in, I'm gonna to try to net any that are not in the trap. Yeah. Okay? So don't go until I give you the, the green light. You can pull the rock. There's probably 20 on the ground around it. Sorry, I didn't even film that very well because, uh... Look at these guys. Look at this one. Ah! Go on, unless you can hit it, bud. We got probably 20 that are eating on our carcass right now. We're going to throw back the little ones. We're going to keep the big ones, right? That one went back. What do you think? Yeah, I'm trying to catch these ones. What do you think, Soren? Crawdads? I love look, look at all of them. No, I'm trying to catch them. Open it up. Watch this. Where's the big one right here? You got one big one? Yeah. Dude, there was so many on the yeah. ground. There were so many on the ground around it, bro, that it was just ridiculous. Ah. So, but that one's little. We're going to throw that one back. That's a keeper. Oh, there's one big one. Ah. Ooh, that's a keeper. That's kind of a little one. <laughs> They're climbing out. Yeah, we're just pulling out. We're getting the little ones. We're getting the little ones out. That one's pretty small. Okay, it's okay. That's not a big one. We got a couple big ones right here that we're going to save for our Alfredo. You got one big one in there? Nice. Hang on, brother. We're going we're gonna to pull them out, okay? We got to get mom. Mom's got the cooler. Okay, let's throw some of the big ones in. He's coming out. He's kind of small. That one's not bad. That one's kind of small, kind of small, kind of small. We're going to put the carcass in here. He's not bad. Yeah, put them in there. Don't touch. Be careful. Small, small. Look at that one. Look at that one. That's a good keeper right there. Got him! Mom scored through, so. Yeah, oh, well, you got it. He's not too bad. Look what. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, you can grab him by his tail. Oh no! Jeez. Good job, Soren. Good job, buddy. <laughs> He's crawling out himself. Just yep. keep the big one. So this one can't be. You gotta grab by their tail. You gotta be very careful. They're gonna pinch you good, and then you'll never want to touch one again. That one's pretty good. Yeah. You can always and, put them back and He's not too ones, bad. Right? Yeah. Let's see, see if there's any more. Yeah, they're pretty small. Yeah. I think, I think these ones are kind of small. Fish that came around too. Okay. 
We're just fish. we're just releasing Whoa. a giant school of crawdad also. We're only keeping the good ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big ones. There was like there lot. was so many around it was like insane how many were around. Well and like all these ones, they are moving up. Look at right there, all those guys, they're like coming this way. We have to get that trap back in there because there was so many crawdads around it. There was more around it than there was in it. But we're gonna go let's go a little higher in the column. Let that settle. Let's see what we get. You got claws, you gotta be careful. You gotta put the net behind them, remember. Oh, you missed them. There's a bunch down there, look at that. Let's see if we can pull the good ones out. Perfect. Nice, you caught one? Yep. Let's see it. Pick him up and show me. Show the camera. Here, guys. You got him. What is that? It's, um, uh, what is it called again? times all you gotta do is move some rocks and you'll find some crawdads so we'll just move a couple of these rocks out of the way there he is oh, oh he doesn't have a poor little poor little guy <laughs> they're so hard to catch when there's no claws poor little dude has no defense look you want to hold him you can definitely hold that one well <laughs> trap we're using is it has holes on both sides as you can see there's a hole here and there's a hole over here and that's how they get through you know they get in there and they get stuck um, but if this thing isn't laying flat and it's laying vertical they can crawl right out that hole and they won't be getting in the other hole so you basically just want to have it nice and flat I'm just gonna lay it in the current here 20 minutes later Alright, let me show you guys our quick little bounty for the day. We got ourselves a nice little 20 pack probably. We could have caught so many more. I mean the river's just plentiful with them, but we're only gonna take what we need. We're gonna go back and make ourselves some Alfredo with them, which you'll see right now. Alright guys, we got our bounty from the day. We're boiling up right now. We're gonna make ourselves some pasta. So we're gonna get our pasta going. Yep. We're gonna get some uh, peppers cut up, some onions cut up. Okay. And what else? We're gonna make our own sauce. Can, I touch them? Can you touch them? Sure, why not? So we're gonna chop up a red pepper. We're gonna cut up a green pepper. We're gonna cut up an onion. We're gonna mince up some garlic. We're gonna dice up some fresh from the garden chives. We're gonna cook up the veggies. 
Now it's time to clean the crawdads. Look, it washed the claw. Whoa. <laughs> what? No, first put it back. Snack it. We got our own sauce going. Got melted butter. Put some half and half in right now. Water's boiling. Time to cook these noodles. Now we just gotta add Parmesan cheese. We got some fresh baked bread up in here. Oh, that looks so good. Noodles are done. All right, we got the final product right here. Some fresh caught crawdad Alfredo. Custom Alfredo. Homemade bread. A nice salad. Oh, this is gonna be bomb.